Welcome everyone. Today we're graphing inequalities, and they're very similar to graphing equations. There's just a little extra steps. So the first thing we do is just like before, we're going to figure out the slope if your equation is already in slope intercept form. So here we have this as y is greater than 3x plus 2. Usually we see this as y equals 3x plus 2. Uh, the difference is the uh, there's no equal sign. We have greater than. So we have the slope here, which we can see is right over here. It's the value before the x, that coefficient. And that's 3, but you know we like our slope as a fraction. That's 3 over 1. The next thing is our y-intercept, which is right over here. So our y-intercept is 2. So just as before, you're going to graph starting with your y-intercept. So we're going to go to 2 on the y-axis. That gives us the y-intercept right there. Then you're going to use the slope. We have a 3, which is our rise, and a 1, which is our run. So we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And then we want another point, so we go again, up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Now, I can't do that again because there's no more space, but if I want another point, I go back to the original, and we're going to do the opposite. Down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1 to the left. Okay. Now here's where it's different. So we want to put our line together, but we have to look at the sign. For this sign here, we have greater than. So if we have a greater than, or if we have a less than sign, we have to use a dashed line. But if it's greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, we use a solid line line. So a dashed line would look like this. Let me use a different color for that. I could do it in black. A dashed line could look like this. And a solid line would be a straight full solid line. So we're going to use, since we have greater than, we're going to use a dashed line. So the same way you would take a ruler, line up your points, and then create this dashed line connecting all of your points. Now, I'm a little freehand here because I'm not using a ruler. Actually, what I can do is I'll write, make a line. Make sure it goes through all your points and more. But remember, it's a dashed line, so I'm going to erase some spots here to create this dashed line effect. And don't forget your arrows. So that's the first part. Since it's a, since it's greater than, use a dash line. The other thing is you want to shade. So since it's greater than, you want want to shade everything above. Shade above the line. We're gonna shade it like this. Actually, no, I have a better thing. We can shade it. You're going to shade every area above the line. What this is saying is that any of these points in this area is a solution. If it's less than, you shade below the line. Okay? So, if it's less than... You shade below the line. So any point in the shaded area is considered a solution to this inequality. All of these are solutions, but anything on this side would not be.